Four was in with a game. Be right back with another video reaction. Be back with the guap game. Um, first of all, I want to thank all the subscribers. Everybody got the notifications on. Everybody will be always first to comment and all that stuff. Um, like all the videos and all that stuff. I appreciate y'all. Um, um, everybody who knew on welcome y'all to the game. Subscribe to the guap game. Um, in this video, we're going to be messing with that boy, LeBron, King, James, and it's going to be a comparison to the young Brian. Um, if y'all watching the other videos, you know, we'll be watching, um, the high school basketball games and all that stuff, like, um, as well as some of the NBA, um, highlights and stuff. So, um, they're going to be keeping up with, uh, Zaya and all them boys, um, might be. Like, you know what I'm saying? Different um, high school stars, like, you know, on their way to the league and all that stuff, or at least on their way to college, but you know how that go. But, um, yeah, let's get into the video, see what it's all about. Start on the time. Now, are Bronny James quickly making headlines at his 15 years old? Where does he stack up compared to his father, LeBron, at that age? Recently, there's been a lot of spotlight on the junior of one of the. Hold on, it's the second time I did that on a video. It's, I think it's slipping. Now, are Bronny James quickly making headlines at his 15 years old? Where does he stack up compared to his father, LeBron, at that age? Recently, there's been a lot of spotlight on the junior of one of the greatest NBA players ever. Obviously, LeBron James himself has constantly been supporting Bronny up to this point, especially on Instagram. But the mainstream media recently started covering Bronny when news broke that Bronny was transferring to Sierra Canyon School. And this happens to be a private kindergarten to 12th grade school in... That's what I was talking about him and that boy as I have. Like, they not, that's the cool thing about it. Like, they're nice and all that stuff, and they're not even the coldest people on their team, so it's gonna make them that much better. Plus, like, it's like not an unfair um, situation where they just like taking all the playtime and then they overworking themselves either. Like, it's like a good little situation, I think, for them. Chatsworth, Los Angeles, where Bronny's committed for the remainder of high school. Some people even felt that LeBron going to the Lakers in the first place was because he wanted to give his sons a better childhood and high school experience. LeBron himself talked about this decision to go to LA saying, my decision was based solely on my family and the Lakers. But how did Bronny Jr. get to this point where he's regarded as one of the best upcoming high school players in the nation? Before we can get to where Bronny stacks up against his father, we gotta start at the beginning. Now it all started when Bronny was born October 4th, 2004, when his father LeBron was just 19 years old, entering the second season of his NBA career. And his mother happens to be Savannah James, and you can actually kind of tell pretty easily just based off of how much Bronny's appearance resembles her. But as a child, Bronny played many sports but excelled at basketball and soccer. His father LeBron, however, pushed into him at a young age that he wouldn't be allowed to play football or hockey due to injuries that could have been detrimental to his future. But as Bronny grew, more and more people started paying closer attention to someone that came into this world with pretty much the highest expectations or standards set for a basketball player ever. With many seeing his development in elementary school, where Bronny was only nine years old, Ohio State Buckeyes coach Thad Mata joked, he'll be on the recruiting radar. I need to offer him a scholarship. It was later revealed that in 2014, Bronny was already receiving scholarship offers to basketball programs around the nation, which is crazy seeing as colleges were anticipating a young kid to automatically be as good as everyone believed he could be. LeBron at the time, however, thought it was a bit ridiculous that colleges were going to such extremes for his son. He commented on the situation saying, it should be a violation. You shouldn't be recruiting 10-year-old kids. And it was later found out that some of the universities checking out Bronny were Kentucky and Duke. Now by 2014, Bronny was already being featured in highlight reels online that gained him this type of national attention. And the world was finally seeing him literally blossom into the next LeBron James. Now, Bronny went on to middle school. Uh. Bronny were Kentucky and Duke. Now, by 2014, Bronny was already being featured in highlight reels online that gained him this type of national attention. And the world was finally seeing him literally blossom into the next LeBron James. Now, Bronny went on to middle school for the Old Trail School in Bath Township, Summit County, Ohio, and at a young age, it led them to an independent school league tournament win. And Bronny competed with many AAU basketball teams before high school. At age nine, he was playing for the Miami City Ballers, and during a fourth grade AAU tournament, Bronny was being observed by Kentucky Wildcats head coach John Calipari. 
Perry. And in June 2015, James led the Gulf Coast Blue Chips AAU team to a fourth grade championship at the league Dallas Hype Sports Summer Jam. In March 2018, he helped the North Coast Blue Chips capture a John Lucas All-Star Weekend title in Houston. And on April 2nd, 2018, his Blue Chips finished undefeated and claimed the under 13 championship at the Swish and Dish Tournament in Wisconsin. In June of that year, Ronnie represented the same team at the Junior NBA Midwest Championship against ninth grade opponents and advanced to the quarterfinals. On April 2019, despite Bronny being a bit younger than most of the competition on the sports team, he joined AAU team Strive for Greatness at the under-16 Nike Elite Youth Basketball League in Indianapolis, and there he faced a number of highly coveted recruits that were also gaining attention throughout the year. But Bronny held his own and drew praise from many scouts. Now, growing up, Bronny actually represented the number zero, which to much surprise was because of another player he grew up idolizing. Russell Westbrook. What but entering 8th grade, Bronny decided to do what many had expected him to do, choose the number 23 to represent in his father's footsteps. But coming out of high school is where many wanted to see the direction that Bronny's hype would go moving forward. Would he become as legendary as his father LeBron? Would Bronny have the same impact throughout his high school career that LeBron had? Well, on August 6, 2018, James enrolled at Crossroads School, a private K-12 school in Santa Monica, California. However, a random rule prevented James from participating in the varsity program. California state rules prevented them from immediately joining the varsity team because he was in 8th grade despite his playing ability. And on December 3rd, 2018, his first game for the school, James scored 27 points in a to 48 victory over the Culver City Middle School. LeBron actually talked about his son saying, it was kind of nervous for all of us because it's the beginning, it's the start. I mean, he did play flag football. Both of my sons played flag football before the basketball season started, so they got acclimated that way as far as sports, but Obviously, basketball rings bells in our household, and they were both extremely excited. They laid their uniforms out the night before, and they laid their shoes out like it was the first day of school. It was a good start for us being in a new school, a new community, and a new neighborhood. But Bronny's career at the school didn't last long. On May 29th, 2019, Bronny transferred to Sierra Canyon School for his freshman year. <laughs> Shout out that boy, Zaya, that boy, Monster of high school. I Many felt this was a super team in the making. Bronny was joining this team along with upcoming senior Zier Wade, who's the son of legendary player Dwayne Wade, who happens to be one of LeBron James' closest friends as well. But in the following months, some notable names followed Bronny and Zier, and that included the five-star recruits of BJ Boston and Zier Williams. Now during the season, the team was considered one of the best in high school basketball, with ESPN Networks airing 15 of the games. LeBron himself gave praise to his son before the year, saying, expect a kid that'll play for his teammates. He'll work hard, he'll pay his dues, and when his number's called, he'll make mistakes like any kid, but he'll be ready and coach very well. He's someone that doesn't care about rankings, because the only thing that matters is his team's success. And on November 21st, 2019, James made his high school where he scored 10 points off the bench in a blowout win over Montgomery High School. And recently, on December 14th, 2019, James scored 15 points, and that included the go-ahead layup in the last minutes to seal the game, which led Bronny to be named the game's MVP in a win over LeBron's old high school, St. Vincent St. Mary oh, High School. Again, At this point, Bronny certainly really making his own name for himself, really despite literally being named LeBron James Jr. and his father has only one regret in his entire life. LeBron himself talked about that saying, I still regret giving my 15 year old my name. When I was younger, obviously I didn't have a dad. My whole thing was, whenever I have a kid, not only is he going to be a junior, but I'm going to do everything this man didn't do. One thing I can do is give them a blueprint and they can take their own course with that. Now this was said because LeBron knows what type of pressure his son will have to face with the attention on him 24-7. Many would have already been anticipating the upcoming Bronny, seeing if he could live up to his father's legacy. But with the name LeBron James Jr., before he could even take a step, he was already being placed with standards bigger than basketball. Shaquille O'Neal's son Sharif has also been placed with ridiculous standards to live up to, with the same type of attention on him. And after LeBron announced that he regretted naming Bronny because of the pressure, Sharif made a post on Instagram dead. Kill it for the rest of his career. Love. 
dedicated to the situation with the caption reading, Bronny, one kid I could relate to a lot. We both kind of have it the same way. Being the son of an NBA legend isn't easy, and to get all this at a young age is a real challenge to adjust to. Bronny has it a little bit worse than I do, but the difference between him and I, he could back his up at such a young age. When I would get hateful people in the crowd at 14 or 15, I would choke up. I wouldn't play my game. I'm still getting the hang of it. It's all a journey. This kid has it all. I'm looking forward to see him kill it for the rest of his career. Love. No. But Bronny doing well, which is exactly why ESPN and many other sport networks cover him so hard, as the world is anticipating the next one coming. But it's no <laughs> doubt. Oh no, oh no. I need to be too excited of it. <laughs> Books cover him so hard as the world is. <laughs> Why are you gonna make this man a meme in the middle of the shit? Like, that's funny as fuck. Anticipating the next one coming, but it's no doubt that LeBron himself has swayed the media towards his son recently. LeBron's constantly spoke very highly of his son whenever asked about him, and he's brought attention to his son's games where he was spotted being like any father would, showing up to Bronny's games and being his biggest fan, yelling and hyping up the team. LeBron even received some criticism for being too involved with Bronny. At one point, LeBron was spotted practicing with the team before a game where he was throwing down pre-game dunks and participating in the layup line. But LeBron doesn't care. He wants to be there for Bronny far more than he was there for him. LeBron has even recently admitted Bronny might be better than him right now. NBA draft analyst Paul Boncardi actually praised him earlier this year saying, I hope LeBron's not going to get mad at me, but I think Bronny's jump shot is a little bit better. And LeBron responded to this on Twitter saying, can't ever be mad at the facts. Flame thrower he has. By the way, I probably got the third best jump shot in the household. Bryce Maximus got a cooker too. Now, Bronny's coming in this year on a mission. With him just turning 15 years old at the end of the year, he's a promising six foot two point guard slash shooting guard with a great feel for the game in both ways. Being able to pass to the open man or hit a shot himself. Now when LeBron was just 14 years old in 1999, he was just starting his legendary high school career at St. Vincent St. Mary with extreme expectations as well. At that time, he was six foot three coming into the freshman season. And he he was immediately a varsity star for the championship team. Now when comparing LeBron to his son Bronny, this is the point in time where we're at right now for Bronny, freshman in high school. And when LeBron was a freshman back in the day, James averaged 21 points and 6 rebounds per game for his first high school year. And he helped lead the team to a Division III state title by scoring 25 points in the championship game. At this point, many anticipated the LeBron hype to be real and he continued to get better over the years. As a sophomore, LeBron stepped up his numbers to 25 points, 7.2 rebounds, 6 assists, and 4 steals. Per game. The hype surrounding LeBron is getting so unreal at this point that for some home games during the season, St. Louis <coughs> played at the University 5,492 seat Rhodes Arena to satisfy ticket demands from alumni, fans, as well as college and NBA scouts who wanted to see James play. The Fighting Irish finished the season with a 26-1 record and repeated the state champions. For his outstanding play, James was named Ohio Mr. Basketball and he was selected to the USA Today All-USA First Team, becoming the first sophomore to do either. Now before the start of LeBron's junior Junior year, James was already featured in Slam Magazine, and writer Ryan Jones labeled him as the best high school basketball player in America right now. During that season, LeBron also appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated, becoming the first high school basketball underclassman to do that as well. And that third year of LeBron's high school career got him more attention than most NBA stars, as he was quickly becoming someone to fear once he eventually entered the league. But that season, LeBron averaged 29 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, and 3 steals per game. After that year, he was again named Ohio Mr. Basketball and selected to the USA Today's All-USA First Team and became the first junior to be named Male Basketball Gatorade National Player of the Year. St. Vincent St. Mary finished the year with a 23-4 record, ending their season with a loss in the Division II Championship game. While coming into his final year of high school, LeBron and the Fighting Irish traveled around the country to play a number of nationally ranked teams, including a game against Oak Hill Academy that was nationally televised on ESPN2. The game featured a young LeBron James going up against Carmelo Anthony before their professional careers began. And this game put both of these young stars on the map that season. LeBron averaged crazy numbers, looking like an NBA superstar against high school competition. It was unfair at this point. LeBron put up 31 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 steals per game, and he was named Ohio Mr. Basketball and selected to the USA Today All-USA First Team for a third consecutive year and he was named Gatorade National Player of the Year for the second consecutive year. He participated in the three year-end high school basketball all-star games, the EA Sports Roundtable Classic, the Jordan Capital Classic, 
and the McDonald's All-American game, which made him officially lose his NCAA eligibility, but it was okay. This made it official that he would enter the 2003 NBA draft concluding that final season. James scored a career-high 52 points, and eventually St. Vincent St. Mary went on to win the Division II championship, marking their third title in four years LeBron was a part of them. And with Ronnie being in high school, the time is now for him to accomplish some incredible feats like his father before him. There's definitely a ridiculous amount of pressure to live up to, but if LeBron did it, and he stays true to his word of allowing his son Bronny to receive the right blueprint, it should only be up from here for Prince Bronny. Hey, 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 bro, could you do me a favor real quick? Could you just click on- That was a fire video, to me at least. Um, informative at least on some stuff. Uh, I really didn't see much of a comparison in the situation, because, um, Brian, he ain't seen him bring up none of um, the stats from like this season and nothing like that. Like how Brian had been doing, which they have been playing a couple games. He said about the one game they played against um, St. Vincent, St. Mary, whatever it shit is, or whatever. He said, um, he said about that game, but he ain't, like, aside from that, like, can you really bring up um, none of his stats or whatever? So, um, but as far as like the information that they dropped on it, like it's about the um Bote backgrounds and all that stuff, like it's a fire little video to watch. Like I'm pretty sure it's gonna be watched from some for some time or whatever, especially with like Brian coming up, like you know what I'm saying? But um we're gonna be watching more high school basketball games throughout the season, so we're gonna um definitely be updated on, on what's going on with Brian and um Zia, how they saying? I thought it's Zia. I don't know which which one it is, but um, shout out to that boy. Um, shout out to y'all for um being a part of what we doing. Um, subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. But I'm fucking with the Guap Gang.